Hi everyone. Well, I'm over in Belgium at the minute, um, seeing my boyfriend and having a bit of time together. So while he's been working, I've finally found a bit of time to do some editing and I have finished my Liverpool vlog for you all. So it was just the day we went um, a few weeks ago for my mum's birthday and I love Liverpool, it's my home city. So I thought I'd show you around just one of our days out there having cocktails and food. Um, if any of you want to visit, just drop me a message and I can give you some recommendations, places to go, things to see. And I do actually have a new blog coming soon about all my favourite restaurants, bars and cool places in Liverpool. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So I'm going to show you around my favourite city, we're going to have some food and drinks, so enjoy! First stop, Primark. How cute is this bag? Now the Royal Liver Building is iconic in the Liverpool skyline. It has the largest clock face in the UK, making it bigger than Big Ben. It was considered to be the UK's first ever skyscraper, standing at 98.1 metres tall. And the two liver birds that stand proudly on the top, named Bertie and Bella, are said to protect the city. One looks inland to protect its people, and the other out to sea. It's said if the liver birds ever fly off, the city would cease to exist. We're going to be heading down to Albert Dock in a little bit. We're going to go to Gusto for some food and find a place for cocktails. So the Royal Albert Dock is one of my fave spots in the city. It actually reminds me a lot of days out with my granddad. Post-war, the dock was awarded a Grade 1 listed status and is now actually the largest single collection of Grade 1 listed buildings in the country. 
The big buildings on the docks were actually used to store sugar, rum, tobacco that had all been produced in the Americas after it was shipped over to Liverpool. We're at Duck now, one of my favourite places in the city. It's filled with gorgeous bars and lovely restaurants. Now Rev's on Albert Dock is actually one of my fave spots to grab a drink in Liverpool and some food, it's so tasty. I have some of my favourite memories in there, nights out with the girls, just getting drunk with my sis, but it was actually always a place that I'd go to with Nan and Grandad after a day's shopping. <laughs> we normally get drunk on shops and cocktails, Long Island iced tea. I officially had the coolest grandparents ever. Our lunch in Gusto was gorgeous. We had um, some beautiful Gusto white wine. We had a sharing platter to start with olives, meats, focaccia bread, and not to mention the view was stunning. Um, for mains, I had a meat thief pizza, which was just delicious. And we also shared a Caesar salad. We're sorry we didn't have room for dessert because everything was just so nice. So after our afternoon of lunch and cocktails and wine, we were about to head home on the train but the beer colour caught our eyes so we went in for a few cheeky beers. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. So here's just a few memories of my other days and nights times in Liverpool and just a little taster of what my actual written Liverpool blog has in store for you.